Hello everyone, today this is going to be a tutorial on Are You Hungry Tonight? This level is really the chevy and pretty fun. So we want to start out, hit that switch, and super jump to get that laser faster. You can actually go into it, like, the hitbox goes away once you pretty much jump. Now there you don't want to move at all, you just want to mash C. Then when you hear a button go off, you want to go through the door, so you can skip the cutscene. Or at least part of it. Now we're gonna jump to this little corner here and hold down right, super jump to the back. Um, it's pretty easy. Now we go up here, hold down left. We're gonna jump around here and then just walk back. And you just have to be really careful not to hit the corner or else you'll die. Um, these fires are annoying. They actually went better than normal. Now we want to stand, like, in this corner. That's actually not the direction you typically want to go in. Okay. Yeah, I missed it. So you want to start from the left. Or at least that's what I usually do. Nope. I apologize for that. There we go. Okay. Yeah, just make sure you're starting from the left. Um, here the most important part is just that you get some health back by killing these guys. They die in one whip. So we should have full health here. Or not, that was odd. Nice shot. <laughs> wow. This fire is annoying because it sometimes like never goes away. Once again, start from the left. Or, yeah, first one. Okay. That was the second room. This room's kind of weird. Because you see that guy in the back first. Okay, so this room has two pans. You could actually don't have to go into first person here. Um, so what you can do is go like this, and hurry very quickly back, and go like that. That's an optimal strat for that room. Okay, so this is very good. We actually have full health here. Um, so this is the last room. Um, this room is really fast. <laughs> On um, here when we have the skip. So yeah, that's the frying pan rooms. Now we're gonna go down the elevator. Now for the bean rooms, as I like to call them. Oop, wrong way, excuse me. <laughs> Just remember, you're always going through the right doors now. So this is a really fun strat here. You don't have to go for it. I just prefer because it's really fast and cool. I don't know if I'm going to make it, okay. <laughs> so those are really optimal strats there. Um, Saves a few seconds. This is a little skip here. For the most part, this section's really easy, despite what I'm sure a lot of people might think with this. Um, okay, sorry, I messed up there. Forgot about something. Okay, so when you, this hits two, you're gonna roll off here, and you're gonna jump. Here. It's safe, it's like three seconds or so. I apologize for forgetting about that the first time though. I just forgot where I was. Okay. So, yeah, a lot of this is just like jump optimization, just 
getting the correct height where you don't even really have to hover. Oh. Yeah, you always get an awkward camera angle there. I actually don't think you need to jump for that one at all. Those marbles are a bit awkward to get. You don't need to jump here at all. Yeah, that was pretty good. Okay. Next room. I really don't like room 2. It's just really dull in my opinion. Well, actually, I mean, this whole entire section is pretty dull, but I don't think it'll ever really get faster. You can take fall damage there, which is slow. Okay, um, so this is a strat some people might not be aware of here. You can actually get these two marbles, just like that. And you actually don't need to jump at all. Um, this one is kind of tricky. You want to make sure you're rolling. And when it gets to one, that's when you want to jump. You just want to roll into it, that's what I was trying to say. Okay, um... This jump's also interesting. You want to just get it and stand still. When it gets to one, you want to just jump up and hover, then hold up at the apex of your jump. It's not really that hard if you know what to do, though. Okay, now we go forward. This jump here is where you might mess up. You don't need to go forward that much at all. Then we have one last little jump here. Um, that jump, you really need to be careful because it's actually kind of tight. Okay. Get an udder there. You want to kill this guy. Oops. Okay. So there's actually an invisible wall there. So we need to go around this side. I don't know why they did that, but... <laughs> yep. But there's actually not an invisible wall right here. So we can just go ahead and go. And you would try to get that udder if you have enough time left. Because that um, ends the animation early. There's also a little mini invisible wall before the door. <laughs> I don't know why. So this is Elvis skip. Um, there's two methods of doing it. If you'd like to see the quote unquote, okay, there's basically two ways of doing it. It's safe where, as you know, you'll make it, but you have a chance to die. And then there's a chance that may make you lose time if you miss it, but is, um, oh my. Okay, so, sorry, I accidentally fell. Oh my. I barely got it there, but yeah, just, I apologize for not explaining that well, I just, you want to normally back up and get it from there, but this is actually a good thing, I'm just, I really apologize for that, you want to, I'll make a video about the backup strat there, um, now let's say that happens to you, um, and you don't have enough health to you, what you want to do is just go like that, get some extra health, then hit the switch. So yeah, we have a bit of extra health now, and we need to make this jump. Okay. So yeah, we got that glitch there. If you shoot enough, you actually like, get a ton of health. It's kind of odd. Now we hit that switch. Oops. Okay, I hope I don't get shot here. Okay, that did hit. So yeah, now we'll get some more backup health coming up. We can also kill this guy if we need to. For some extra health. Because he never shoots or anything. Okay. So now, let's just be safe. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Sorry for taking it safe. Though. Okay. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this final switch, which makes the wall go away, finally. Now we're gonna get the blue marbles. Um, you can also stay still there, and there's a chance that the alien might hit you, so you can actually get a bit of a head start coming down to get these marbles, but I didn't really save much time if you got hit. Butter. Also, I just wanted to point out that some of the others that were um, gotten early, well, previously gotten, it's just because of having to take multiple takes, so... They were already collected, but it doesn't really affect gameplay or anything. So this is the final skip here. Um, we want to jump up, stay very, be very careful of that switch though. You do not want to accidentally trigger all this. Um, and yeah, you just want to basically jump up there. It's pretty easy. Um, you can change the camera angle here. I'm confident though, so I'm just gonna go for the jump like that. Although this second one you probably do want to change the angle for because this one's really hard. Very good. Um, I go down to this last lava pit so I can use this little light as a cue. Just fall straight down. If you mash A there, you actually have a chance of like not even grabbing that ledge, and you can just go over here. And that's already hungry tonight. Really fun level. Um, I apologize for my bad gameplay and my poor explanation in Elvis Skip, but I'll make a separate video to explain that. Thank you for watching.